Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to share with you the UMD Dumper application, a very old school app that was very popular back when I started uh, hacking the PSP, getting into the homebrew scene and all that good stuff. And you can basically throw in your UMD disk and copy your games directly to your micro SD card and it works really good. Unfortunately, the link to this application is no longer available on the main website and due to some copyright issues or through the readme, I'm not able to share this file and that website is not working for some reason. So I tried it and I wasn't having any luck and I did find the download link to this, but it was broken and it was taken away. Maybe we can go into archive to see if we can find a copy of this and have it available for all you guys in the description that way you can download it and add it to your homebrew tools collection on your PSP so yeah pretty sweet application I love it a lot and I'll try to find any links for this application online and if I do I'll have that pinned in the comment section down below for you so you can go get it and install it on your PSP. It's a wonderful application and it's one of the best and I hope that maybe a developer out there would uh, take over this project or build something like this to have on your PSP and that way it's just a lot easier for you to dump your games directly to your micro SD card instead of going through the VSH menu and copying it onto your PC which works too and I'll have a link to that guide in the description down below for you if you're interested in doing it that way. So luckily I found a link to download this application for your PSP and we're here on the Internet Archive. Thank God for this website that it exists. And if you're not familiar with archive.org, it basically saves uh, websites from the past and just has it documented here online for us. And we have the Phone IC UK website and this was published in 2008 so this is a very old uh, website old application that was uploaded way back in the day when uh, the PSP was just getting into the homebrew scene very fun stuff so this was uploaded by this guy or this gal on January 18 2021 I wanted to cover this application last year and I don't know I had that spark of inspiration of using that application and I wanted to make this video and I guess now I'm going to show you how to get it installed on your PSP so here is the link that will be in the description down below and you will need some type of uh, extracting program like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the files so let's go ahead and download this application and we're going to download it here on 7z let me zoom in here guys I I apologize <laughs> it's a little uh, small there on the screen so here is the UMD dumper this is version 0.3.0 D and this is the most desired version because it's just very stable the previous versions were a little uh, whacked it would close out the application it would just turn off your PSP during the copy and there was just a lot of uh, issues with those older versions so 0.3.0 D is the best one by far and here's the download options we have the torrent and the 7-zip we want to click on the 7z link so let's hit that and there it is and I was testing this before to make sure that it was working so you will see a uh, one on the side there so let's refresh that there's our UMD dumper uh, I did download this I was testing this out yesterday and it was working just fine so once we have that downloaded we can right click and extract the files and I'm using 7-zip to extract this uh, file so if you don't have 7-zip I'll have a link to that in the description so here is UMD dumper looks good you should have four files we have the license the readme the music and the eboot.pbp very good and now we can connect our PSP to our PC here's our USB drive from our PSP and we're going to copy this over into our game folder so let's just get these uh, windows squared up there we go 
So on your USB drive, the PSP, let's go into the PSP folder, go into game. I do have categories light plugin working right now. So I do have these subcategories installed. If you don't have that, all you have to do is copy the UMD dumper folder and dump it into your PSP game. If you have folders like I do, like tools, obviously you want to throw it into here and it will be copied over. So now I should have two of these uh, programs on my PSP since this one is uh, named uh, parentheses one. And that's basically how you copy over the UMD dumper to your PSP. And now you have a fully working application on your console. So we can start dumping games onto our SD card. So I love to back up my UMDs to my PSP. And here is Soul Calibur. And here's my PSP 1000, it works beautifully. And I have a 120 gigabyte micro SD card on here. And I have a ton of PSP games. I'm gonna show you here just a quick second. And it's loading. It's loading up all the games that I have on the system. It's insane how many games I have on here. But all the games on here on this micro SD card is dedicated to PSP games. So I have all of my entire collection backed up on here. It's a little over a hundred games. Pretty awesome. And I do have a tutorial on how to do that. And I'll have a link to that in the description down below for you. But usually I like to use this tool which is no longer available uh, to download. But it's called the UMD Dumper. And there is So Calibur. And the space required is 859 megabytes. So a little less than one gigabyte. And I just scroll to the left and we can do the start dumping by pressing X but I have to make sure that the title is correct here so target file ISO so caliber broken ISO so we can start dumping and it will start copying the game completely to the PSP which is pretty awesome and it takes about roughly 10 I would say 5 to 15 minutes depending on which game you're saving. So this one looks like it's picking up pretty quickly. It's not too terribly bad. Some of the ones that are over uh, 1000 megabytes will take some extra time. And while you're doing that, you can press the select button and play this mini game, but it's really um yeah, it's a little flashy and I, I don't like to play it. I just rather work on some other stuff and just let it do its thing here on the PSP so it's pretty cool love that uh, app on this console so much so there it is the dumping has finished successfully so we can hit the circle and there's no more options for us so what we can do is just exit the game by pressing menu and quitting the game alright we're back at the main menu and I do have categories light enabled so I have to move my UMDs, or I'm sorry, not UMDs, my ISOs, my ROMs and stuff in their specific folders, homebrew, and tools and things like that. So the game we just copied over through the UMD dumper is going to be under uncategorized. Let's open that up. And there is Soul Calibur. And let's take the disc out. Actually, let me show you here real quick. So the disc is inside. You can see there the UMD. Right. Let's wait for that to load. Soul Calibur, right? So let's take it out. There is Soul Calibur. And we no longer have a UMD, right? Let's go down to uncategorized. And there is Soul Calibur. You see how fast it responds? That's why you want to dump your games onto your micro SD card. It's just a lot more efficient and you have faster gameplay than going through the UMD. But if that's your thing, I mean, there you go. But I prefer the, the dump of the uh, the game itself. So a bunch of games I dumped here in the last few days. So have to organize that and also copy them over to my PC so I don't ever lose them. Pretty awesome. But yeah, that is it for this one, guys. Just a quick video showing you a really cool application that works very well. I'm just so glad that I have this application that I downloaded years ago, like a decade ago almost, when I first got into 
uh, learning how the homebrew scene for the PSP works. So it's pretty awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Any questions, comment down below. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.